Hey, hope your group is going well. We are moving along. Just a couple more weeks left of our study. I'm so excited that uh, I'm hearing so many good reports about people whose attitudes are getting better and they're starting to recognize that attitude is a frame of mind uh, that affects our disposition in life and the relationships around us. Uh, one of the things that I uh, remember as a kid, uh, as I'd get some minor injury, you know, maybe a little scratch, uh, um, cut somewhere, and then it'd start to heal. And um, I would start picking at it. You know, my mother would say, don't, don't pick at that, sweetheart. Um, because why? Because you pick at it, you make it worse. Um, I think about this week's text in Philippians chapter four, one of my favorite, right? It's our memory verse. Kind of pick it up in verse four. He says, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. That is an awesome memory verse, memory passage. What I love about that is the fact that part of that adjustment that he says to do is, is to not pick at worry. We can. We can just kind of pick at worry. We, we start worrying about something and we pick at it some more and, and you want to scratch it and you just get into the worry thing and pretty soon you're doing negative meditation. That's all worry is. Worry is just meditating about something that's negative uh, and ineffective. It doesn't release anything. So today, really, you know, our conversation for this week's material is all about how to reduce your stress. And I think Paul nails several things in the text that helps us to do that, which is, you know, worry about nothing, pray about everything. Uh, it, it challenges us to, to take our thoughts captive, to think about the right things, uh, to be thankful for everything. Those are huge um, steps that all of us can take. And when we do that, our stress reduces. There's something natural about the human body, right? When, when there's a scab that's developed, there's a healing that's going on to take care of something. When we scratch at it, we, we irritate it, we agitate it. And some of us are so used to scratching at, picking at our worries, our concerns. God just wants to encourage you this week that you can lower your stress, by simply learning to stop picking at worry. Instead, pray about everything. God, this is, this is my concern. I love what Peter says when he says, cast all your anxiety on God because he cares for you. Think about that. If you talk to God and pray to God, but then you go back to picking on stuff, you really haven't cast your anxiety or your cares on him. That idea of casting our anxiety is really shifting the weight from ourselves over to God, letting God carry those things. He wants to do that for us. And when we learn to have that attitude, that frame of mind that says, I'm gonna be thankful in everything because I know that when I give God my worries, he's promised to give me peace that passes understanding. I'm thinking and praying for you as you process this week, that your stress will go down your gratitude will go up and you'll recognize how powerful it is to be in a moment by moment relationship with Jesus where we can give him our cares. Have a good study. Mm -hmm.